governors of the All Progressive Congress APC have warned their counterparts from the People's Democratic Party PDP to desist from making statements that would incite the public against the federal government. But you people are acting and rolling out policies that have subjected the people to urgent poverty. A lot of people are losing their lives and that is not a it's not a problem to you. Well, let all of them deal with themselves because whether APC or PDP, they are, are even some uh, uh, labor politicians, labor party politicians, they are not all on the side of the masses. And who is saying this is Zodim Mana? He's telling Tinubu to do what? He's telling Tinubu to jail them uh, for comparing Nigeria to Venezuela. The chairman of the Progressive Congress Forum, Hopu Zodima, made this known in a statement on Tuesday in Abuja following a demand by the PDP governors calling on the APC-led federal government to rise to the occasion and address the worsening economic hardship in the country before it gets out of hand. Uzodema stressed the need for cooperation to address the nation's security and economic challenges instead of blaming one another. Okay, they should not blame, they should not blame you. So, of course, Tinubu wants it to be PD. A APC PDP or PDP APC. Uh, they are oppositions now. So I, I know that uh, the statements made by this uh, Uzodima is just that unless Tinubu self is a foolish person. If Tinubu is not a foolish person because he knows that uh, what uh, Uzodima is saying is not even is not doable. And you cannot silence the opposition. You want to silence the masses, you want to, you still want to silence uh, the opposition. The masses you can't even silence them. You think uh, the Nigerian people will be buying all this uh, crap and those who are still supporting the APC, if you like defend them at the end of the day you will go back and start a you know of course the breakfast already has been served you've been served the breakfast so continue supporting them or making excuses for them the pdp governors had lamented the current economic hardship being experienced by nigerians insisting it was occasioned by the economic and security challenges being faced by the nation they also compare nigeria's situation to venezuela's in response to the pdp Governor's press conference on Monday, Uzodema said it was disloyal for those in positions of authority to play the ostrich, urging them to acknowledge the efforts of Sinumbu to find long term solutions. He maintained that despite listed several economic issues, the PDP governor's forum failed to provide a single solution. Why should they provide solutions to you? This is your job, do it. Even when I hear people say, oh, a profile solution to the government, what kind of nonsense? They are heavily paid. You are heavily paid for the job. If you know that you don't have what it takes, you expect somebody, you are being given a job and you expect somebody to help you do the job. And meanwhile, you are being paid for it. If you know you don't have what it takes, then leave, it, leave, leave the office. You can't be paid and expect people to be profile solutions to you. Profile solutions to you. <laughs> Who's the man said, Ultimately, the decision rests squarely with Nigerians and other organs in the country to ensure that we take actions that we bring relief to all of us. He said, he further said, I don't even know when they stop supporting that economic policies, but they are familiar with the glitch that you cannot make an omelette without breaking an egg. We were all aware of the temporary hardship in the policy would cause, but that will soon give way to prosperity. It is a lie. Okay, now, in the whatever you are talking about, are you guys suffering? You are not suffering. You are living in abundance. You are living in abundance. You are living in plenty. And you are coming to tell us a cock and boo stories. Who, who does that? But the policy that uh, you guys are talking about is not affecting, it's not affecting you people. But it's affecting the masses. The masses should bear the bronze. They will just they are all they are, they are all irresponsible. They are all irresponsible. What these politicians say? Ninety-eight percent of them are irresponsible. Mr. Governor Uzodima, so you don't know that Nigeria is like Venezuela, where a family buys a derica or fries for one thousand three fifty. Well, I don't even blame you, sir. You and others, other fellow APC don't even care about Nigerians. Arresting with humanity. You know that's what I say. He said they should arrest and jail them. He knows that it's just a wishful thinking. Uh, they want to tell maybe Tinubu is a dummy that you go and tell him, yeah, hey, let's arrest them. 
Well, this is party loyalty. Why the nation is burning. Michigano, Oyenzuzu, keep your mouth shut. Nigeria is not even more better than Venezuela. So it is high time we stop fighting ourselves. Knowing uh, we're fully where we are dying every day in the hands of our so-called corrupt leaders. I am a card carry member of PDP, but it is shameful for any PDP member that have conscience to blame the government of the day for woes befalling the Nigeria people. That means you are not ashamed of yourself. All of them are they not the same, so they should not talk as opposition. Abi, is that what you are saying? Almost all the PDP governors, past and present, have different corruption cases with the EFCC, and so so you should bear the brunt. If uh, uh, PDP, if they don't talk now, you will say they are useless people. They did not talk. You see, you see the way some people, the way the uh, uh, or how the politicians have been taking advantage of some Muguns that call themselves citizens. If PDP did not say anything, you see come back and say they are not even playing the opposition way. Can you imagine what have they said that is not even in reality with what you are complaining about? Governor Zodima should keep quiet if he has nothing positive to say. To help ameliorate the scorching has she been experienced by the ordinary masses, he should rather concentrate on what actions his APC government should take to get out of the wood. Nigeria voted them in, not PDP or other parties. The decision rests squarely with APC and its organs in government to ensure release to all of us. Okay. That's gallo you prepared for them. You shall be hung on this blow soccer. Okay. You criticize others, but don't want to be criticized. You hypocrite. You are now asking PDP to provide you with solutions to country's problems. Why you APC are in power, sharing trillions of Naira monthly. You should be ashamed of yourself as a party. PDP is not Father Christmas if at all they have solutions, which I doubt. Even if they have, they even will prefer solutions. All the ones that other people have proffered, have you taken them to cognizance? We are hungry. You are busy saying rubbish. Very useless, seriously. For one night, Kempi has gotten the mouth to talk because Nigeria is a fake state. I never knew Imolites can be easily deceived. Imagine they still went ahead to vote a man like this after promising them he will give them job in Europe, not Nigeria. He even promised by December last year. Now it's February. How markets? Ah, they, they don't change them. They have changed it. They say, no, that was not what they meant. Even with the insecurity ravaging the states, I don't even think my Beni brothers and sisters can be so stupid to do such. Look at what he's saying. Hmm. Leaving the matter to beat around the bush, diverting our minds to the terrible state APC has plunged Nigeria into. Nigeria is becoming even worse than Venezuela and a collection of shameless people under this party as representatives of the same horrible party to nigerians instead of them addressing the problem they are there changing the narrative so guys let's say your opinion have your take on this